With only a few days to go before its final session, the United Nations Climate Summit in Copenhagen is becoming increasingly chaotic, with the organizers coming under fire for not being properly prepared. The number of delegates, observers, NGOs and journalists that want to attend the conference is much larger than expected. And Danish police are facing criticism from human rights groups for arresting more people than necessary at the weekend. Some 1,200 people were forced to spend the night in jail and only three of them were held after the 12-hour holding period expired. The number of people wishing to have access to the Bella Center where the talks are being held is almost double the capacity. There's room for only 15,000. As a result of that, the doors of the Bella Center were closed on Monday. Only people who already received accreditation last week were allowed to enter again. And to make matters worse, tensions are rising inside the climate talks themselves. Developing countries on Monday forced a suspension of the meeting because they fear they're getting a bad deal. That after COP15 President Connie Hedegaard last week already tried to prevent the tiny Pacific state of Tuvalu from speaking out. There is a lot of mistrust between uh, the countries. Uh, we could feel that uh, it is not a frozen atmosphere outside. Uh, it is as well a frozen atmosphere inside. I cannot hide that... Uh I was very surprised for how long it took us today uh, to just set up uh, an informal, informal uh, consultation. European negotiators are among those who still hope that the meeting will be able to generate a binding agreement by the end of the week. So we cannot be the only one uh, economic bloc that is still bound by Kyoto. I mean, the others also have to engage. Some 90 world leaders, including US President Barack Obama, are due to arrive in the coming days. With developing countries, supported by China, looking to ensure that their concerns are addressed, further chaos is to be expected. Raymond Franken, EUXTV.